Okay guys, in this video, I will talk about cross-zone load balancing. With cross-zone load balancing, each load balancer instance distributes evenly across all registered instances in all AZs. So let's look at this picture. We have three AZs and we have three load balancers and several uh, EC2 instances distributed in these AZs. With the cross-zone load balancing, the traffic from each load balancer can be distributed evenly across all registered instances in all AZs. Otherwise, each load balancer node distributes requests evenly across the registered instance in its availability zones only. So, as this picture shows you. Okay, so next, uh, let's talk about uh, load balancing in each load balancer. For classic load balancer, the, the cross-zone load balancing is disabled by default. No charges for inter-AZ data if enabled. For application load balancer, the cross-zone load balancing is always on and cannot be disabled. No charges for inter-AZ data. But for the network load balancer, it's disabled by default, but if you enable it, you will pay charges for inter-AZ data. So this is really important. Please remember that. So let's just switch back to AWS Management Console. We have two load balancers here, which is a CLB and the NLB. I don't want to create LB because LB, the, the cross-zone load balancing is enabled by default. You cannot configure it. So I will show you how to configure in CLB and the NLB. Currently in AWS, the cross-zone load balancing in cell B is enabled by default, but uh, previously it's uh, uh, disabled by default. Anyway, you can change you can change it by click this button. So as you can see, we can choose either to disable or enable it. So let's say I wanna uh, disable it and then click save. Now you can see the status is become disabled. All right. This is for CLB. And the next, let's look at the NLB. So let's scroll down. You can see the cross zone load balancing in NLB is disabled by default. So let's click this button, edit attributes. And we can check it. This may, uh, this may enable the cross zone load balancing. And it says that it will charge for this feature. Okay, so I don't want it to cost money for me. So uh, I don't want to uh, be. I don't want to let it be enabled. I just want to show you how to enable it. Okay, so um, I think that's enough for the introduction of cross zone load balancing. And if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.